y'all, I'm Deborah. Welcome to my channel. Um, today's video is my February 1st update for the um, Movie Madness Project Pan. This is a collaboration with the Facebook group Fantastic Ladies Collab. Um, it started on January 1st and the premise of this project is that you choose products associated with a movie and you work on that product. That product. Um, for my project, I am looking at a class of movies. So I am, all my projects, all my products have to do with uh, film noir. So the first product that, I want to talk about the products that I selected last month, and then we'll talk about the ones that are rolling in this month. So last month for the movie, The Postman Always Rings Twice, that was um, a project, a product that had been in a project previously, so it's kind of coming back, it's ringing twice. So for that I have the uh, Hourglass Highlighter in the shade Incandescent. I had it in another project for 50 uses. This month I have used it 22 times, and I don't have pan, but I've got a huge dip. And um, so yeah, so I think I'm getting close. I think I'm getting close, but not there yet. No, not yet. Um, the second for the movie The Naked City, I chose a bath product. This was the, I got this in a boxy charm. Um, this is uh, M. Greengrass Cardamom Lavender Foaming Body Scrub. Um, it's okay. I'm not real crazy about it. It's not very scrubby. It does foam, but it's not very scrubby. Um, I was right here, right here last month, and now I am down to here. It's kind of hard to see because once you tilt the bottle to figure out where it is, then it's stuck on the side for a while. So near as I can tell, that's where I am. My goal is to finish that one. I used it seven times in the month of January and so I'm making some progress not blazing through it but I don't need to use it every time I wash so there we go all right for the movie The Blue Dahlia I uh, put this palette uh, the Violet Voss Wild Dahlia palette in for 10 uses I met that goal on January 19th this is what the palette looks like and I hate this palette. There is so much fallout from all of these shades. Um, I look like I've been in a barroom brawl when I put this stuff on. Uh, it takes me longer to clean up my face than it does to actually use it. So this one, this palette is being decluttered. I, as bad as this was, I will probably never buy another Violet Voss palette. I won't spend my money there. All right, so Journey Into Fear was the next movie, and I used for that one something that made you nervous or fearful. And for me, that was moving into bronzers and highlighters. So I put in this bronzer by Fenty. This is the shade Into Sun. I knew I was close, and there it is. I have hit pan. I hit pan on the, the 12th. And I've just continued to use it to expand that pan to the end of the month. So this one will be rolling out. Um, I love this one. This is a great winter shade for me. So I may continue to use that some. Uh, let's see. For the movie The Lady from Shanghai, something that's two-faced. And so for that one, I have this two-faced ethereal setting powder in the shade Translucent. Uh, my goal on this one... There's 17 grams in the container originally. I'm about right here. So my goal for this one is to use up three grams of powder. And in the month of January, I used up 1.43 grams. So making progress. I, I think probably by the next update, uh, this one may be rolling out. If I used just, there were a couple of days when I didn't use setting powder, so maybe. If I get on it, we'll use it. All right, for the next product was Who Framed Roger Rabbit was the next movie. 
and I was using the Revlon Colorstay Micro Gel Eyeliner in Brown because Jessica Rabbit's big line was, I'm not really bad, I'm just drawn this way. So drawing on my brows with the pencil. Um, I actually, I'm not fond of this as an eyeliner because it is so fine um, that I have trouble getting it, I, I just struggle with it. But it really does, if I'm light handed, it, it does work well as a brow pencil. And I can use that and um, I'm using it up that way. I did use it uh, 20 times in the month of January. And this is how much is left. So not a whole lot, but it'll be it'll be here a while. But it will definitely be rolling out before summer. Okay, for night for the movie Nightmare Alley. I rolled in this Urban Decay Lip, Ven Lip Liner in Venom. In the story, the um, protagonist accidentally poisons someone. So for this one, this is a really pretty, um, not brick red, but a, a blue red shade. I love this shade. It's one of my favorite lip liners. And my goal is to finish it up. It started out as 12.1 centimeters and now it is 11.5 centimeters. So I am making progress on that. I'm happy with that. Let's see what else. All right, so the two products that are rolling in, um, so the, the Violet Voss and the Fenty Beauty, those two are rolling out. So I'm rolling in two new products. So the first one is for the movie The Big Sleep. So I'm adding something from my nighttime routine. And what I'm rolling in is this Eucerin Original Healing Cream. And I've marked it where you can see there's a, a lot missing from it. But this literally takes a pea-sized amount to do my face. Because I, um, I use prescription tretinoin, so I get a lot of dryness and I use this at the end of my nighttime routine. So my goal is to finish this. It will be in the project quite a while because like I said, literally a pea, a garden pea sized amount warmed up will do, it'll, it'll spread. So this is in my project. That will also help me to remember to use it. All right, for the movie, the last product rolling in is for the movie Casablanca. A lot of people don't think of Casablanca as a film noir, but it really does tick all the boxes, um, including the the cinematography and the way the camera shots are. Um, so for that, I am in, uh, rolling in a product from a French brand because Casablanca was a French, Morocco was a French colony. They were um, run by Vichy France in the um, movie and so I am rolling in this foundation from Lancome this is the Tanti Wear Ultra Wear foundation in the shade 160 W Ivoire um, it is I love it next to the Dior this is my favorite it's just a really pretty nice medium buildable coverage um, not too glowy Y'all know I don't like looking like I need to powder my nose. Um, but it's it's really nice and it's long wearing. So that helps in these days of masks. Um, so those are the two products that are rolling in this month. Um, I'm so excited to have hit pan on a bronzer. Yay, I'm so proud of myself. Um, so let me know how you guys are doing, what you think of my products, if you wanna know anything else about the movies. Um, just put a message down below, hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and hit the notification bell so I can see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.